Hi, everyone. So it's been just 15 minutes since we started the gel, and already it's time for us to look at our results. So I want to show you a couple different things. Uh, here, I've zoomed in the document camera right over the gel box there, and you can see through the hole in the dome, I've got the UV light on, you can see the separation of bands you get in uh, just 15 minutes. And one of the reasons I love this system is that you can run the whole lab start to finish in less than a 50 minute period, which is the time limit a lot of teachers are kind of stuck with. So, and then let me show you some pictures I took uh, while it was running. So let me make sure I find the right picture here. So I think I want this one. Okay, so this is the picture I took with my cell phone camera. So with my cell phone camera, I'm able to, to put my phone right over the hole in that uh, hood. So you get much better focus on it. So let's take a look at this. This is after 15 minutes. Now, this down here, this is kind of a shadow band. Somehow, sometimes if you have the DNA degrading and you have these little pieces that are showing up of broken down DNA, that's what that is. But if we look at this, remember our first lane was mom, and we see two bands here for mom. So mom is heterozygous, and we kind of knew that because she had a child who was homozygous recessive. So we knew mom and dad both had to be heterozygous. And if we look at the gel, Dad also has two bands that confirms the result that both mom and dad are heterozygous. Uh, this is Jane. Jane is homozygous recessive. Uh, this is brother number one. Uh, he must be homozygous because he only has one band here. So and because he's a taster, he must be a homozygous dominant. So the dominant allele is the smaller allele that runs further down the gel. Here's brother number two, and what would his genotype be? That's right, because he has two bands. He must be heterozygous, just like his parents. And this is the grandfather, and the grandfather has one band, and he is a taster. Uh, he is homozygous uh, dominant. So really easy system to use that gives you a super quick work, uh, super quick results. And I want to show you one more picture. Let me find it. I took a picture after the gel. This is just after two and a half minutes. After two and a half minutes after I started the gel, the bands had already run that far down the gel. Now remember, these are the shadow bands down here, but you can see how quickly that uh, gel runs. So you could follow this up with a discussion of a uh, the Punnett squares, what are the Punnett squares of the parents, uh, who has what genotype, you can build a pedigree, and there's more information on that in the teacher and student packets for the mini one lab that I have posted to our Google Classroom. So we'll talk more about this in our workshop tomorrow, and have a great evening. Bye.